even had him in Betty Watch. People are, people are tired of the draft. <laughs> it's like a long marathon. Give it a little time. It's not working? Mm, should be. You didn't advertise the show, right? No. We're here for anybody that wants to talk about it. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky wanted to go live. There was nothing stopping you from going live today. It's my favorite day of the year. Right. Give it a minute. My favorite Let me weekend. Get this set up, Rock. Hold on. Oh, it's picking oh, up. Back, backers oh. are up. 200, 232. Are we on? Hold on. Let's see the picks in right now. Packers 232nd pick, which is the first pick in the seventh round, is in. This will be our tenth pick of the draft. And what a draft it's been. Yeah. In my mind. Give it a minute. I'm curious to see if they take a safety. Something's up with that. Cool, I got this to work for the first time. This never works for me, this shit. Right. Joe's working on the technical stuff. I ain't got <laughs> nothing to do with that. All right. Our pick is Let's in. just wait to see who they take. Here it is. The pick is in. Can you guys hear us? Of course. Hey, Lacey. Tommy Watt. What's up? Andrew Miller's back. He hit the top three. He's all. He's ready. He's good. He's good. <laughs> we got some great. Joe Haggerty, what's up? <clears throat> Bob, how are you? Sue Ann, hello. Cornerback from Kentucky. Jeff Jacobs, what's happening? Carrington Valentine. Lacey, it's always nice to see you. Oliver Russell, hey, what's up? These are the diehards of the diehards. That's right. Days. Well, the diehards not, of the off-season draft. Not promoted. Yeah, Nobody knew we were doing it. And here they are. I, you know... People like us get criticized. Why do you pay attention to the draft? All that kind of stuff, right? I mean, why not? <clears throat> There's something about the Packers. It's the only sport I can follow 12 months out of the year. I don't know, I don't know how the NFL That's does that. That's an interesting it. point. Because not everybody does that. Not everybody can do that. You mean right? like other sports or other people? No, the, the Packer fans, yeah, that's, that's actually... What I mean, it's like, Packer fans are really the only ones that will do that. I don't right? know about that. I don't know. It seems like it. Well, I don't know. You look at There's people. Right. Now that we're seeing the NFL is now promoting the fan base more than it ever yes. has. Obviously. Seventh round, there's people everywhere. Oh, there's someone with a, with a uh, uh, Aaron Jones jersey. Cool. How's everybody doing, man? What do you guys think of this draft so far? What do we got, four left? Yep. Uh, three picks left now. Three? Oh, yeah, because we, Cause just, we just took a cornerback. I wonder if he's a slot guy. Does anybody know about him? 232 is the next one. So we're going to have some time to talk about uh, Colby. Wouldn't Sean Don Tavian, mm -hmm. Carl, and Anders. I guess that's how you say that guy's name. Oh, Anders? By the way, we took a kicker. I think Andrew, his name's Anders, Anders Carlson. From somebody, Auburn. somebody goes. I hope he's as good as his brother. Yeah, <laughs> he must have a good brother and good kicker. I, I should have took a picture. I, I don't, some of these guys in the seventh round, I don't even know who the hell they are to be honest with you. Joe Ackerman, that is a Chris, that is a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't taken down the Packer Christmas tree. Let's see if um, if it lists who this guy is. But that, to me, is the biggest surprise. The biggest, yeah, Carrington Valentine, cornerback, CB from the University of Kentucky. We took a cornerback? Corner, CB. Carrington, someone look him up and tell us what they know about him. Because to me, that is the biggest surprise of the draft, is that we chose not to dress 
a slot guy. Is this can this guy play the slot? I mean, it was a couple guys said, "Oh, but our DBs are better than what we thought." But we lost Amos, so we have not replaced him. So either we're is gonna, he done? Either is we're going to resign him, okay. or we're going to get a guy like Bubba Baker. You know, Rogers gave us a gift, fifteen million dollars. So off the cap, we got a little bit more money than we thought we'd be able to spend. So maybe we can get. Bubba Baker. I don't know. That's what my friend Jerry Ruff. You know, there's Jerry coffee Ruff. in there. Our friend Jerry. That's all right. I'm good. You don't want to get a cup of coffee? Uh, I'm wide awake. You just ate. I know. You ain't wide awake. Yeah, I am. I had a little bit of Chinese. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be hungry in 10 minutes after you eat Chinese food. <laughs> Thanks, for everyone, for tuning in. We just kind of did this out of a whim. We didn't really have anything planned. Rocky texted me. I was still sleeping and said, let's do a show at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Well, then I looked it up and I said, okay. I thought it was at noon when it started, but it was actually 11. So it was at 12 Eastern time. And then I realized that the draft is seven hours long on yeah, that. for long. It, 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 it's with four minutes. Oh, live video interrupted. That's all right. I mean, people want to talk a little bit about the draft. They want to talk about the quarterback. They want, okay, can I... Can I should we you, can say, you can talk about anything you want. Chris, right now. I'm wearing Jordan Love's jersey because, well, his number. I lost my Jordan Love jersey. I don't know what happened to it. I think this, but anyway, that 10 is my favorite number. That's what I wore when I played sports. This draft was all about three things weapons for Jordan Love, number one, and Barry's defense, the front seven. We got. We, we got much better on the interior line. We took three guys that play D-line. We took athletes that can play in, inside and on the outside. Lacey, we're going to get to that question about what we think about the quarterbacks. I read a little bit about him, but, you know, we're, gonna talk, we're talking other positions at the moment. What's up, Jerry? Andrew, hello again. John, how are you? Rock, are you happy, John Boyd? I think it's a solid A. I think it's the best That's draft. That's why I, I wanted to go on. You love I, it. I love this draft. I think we hit on everything we need except the safety. Well, we didn't really hit on an inside linebacker depth, but Carpenter got moved to inside linebacker, and McDuffie is there. Because, you know, Quay Walker is not... Quay. Quay Walker is not starting. <laughs> He's suspended. So if one of those guys get hurt, we He didn't, is, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't address the inside linebacker. But like I said, Carpenter, who is our seventh, seventh or eighth pick, uh, special teams expert, safety, has moved to inside linebacker. So the two positions we didn't address. So, But we chose to go D-line. Oh, you know what I like about the draft? Two tight ends. And two wide receivers, and I want to talk about those guys because they are. I mean, I think it was perfect. a great. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give my opinion on it. I mean, mine's gonna be a lot shorter version than Rocky's. <laughs> I can talk all night, but it's it's. I found it to be a really unique draft because. Did you mention two? Oh, you want to you want to talk about the two wide receivers and two, two tight ends. ends in the first that five rounds. rounds? There was no. Now we know for sure. And we still got three picks left. Right. They could actually take another receiver. Oh, we got another pick in. Our other pick is in. So we're oh, these picks are for special teams and depth. These guys could make the team. Okay. So back to what I was saying is I haven't seen a draft like this in 20 years, maybe ever in my life, where it was so offense orientated or such a large percentage of it was. Right. Early on. Like key picks. Early key on. Picks. Top five picks. Starters. Top five rounds. Sorry. Top four rounds. Musgrave, Kraft, Wicks, and Reed are going to start. They're going to be in the rotation. Wow. That, that's, that, that's, that, that, we took two guys that are better than Dobbs. See, I'm one of those fans that I, these college players, I don't follow college that closely. I can't tell you who the number two guy is from BYU. I just can't. Receiver. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm not that fan. But. Once they get to Green Bay, I'm at OTAs, I go to training camp, and I try to educate myself the best I can to watch them on the field. That's what type of fan I am. Rocky's way ahead of me. Him and Stella, who isn't with us today, they're just we, more into this, like a Scott album or a Michael Klein. Or, you know, you guys are... 
what we do is we evaluate weaknesses based on guys that weren't signed, like Bobby Tunyon wasn't signed, Mercedes wasn't signed, we lost Adams, we lost MVS, we lost Lazard this year, you know, we lost Reed, we lost... Uh, Lowry, those are all starters. So when you do that in two years, you know, go, oh, here we go. Did we take a linebacker? Not yet. Who did we just take? We took so, a DB. Huh? So we kind of make it, and a lot of people do, not just us. It's just that Joey doesn't. We make an educated guess based on running back. We finally took our running back. That was another thing. But anyway, we make an educated guess on what our needs are based on who's available at the time we're going to pick. Where do you see a running back? Lewis Nichols, Central Michigan, running back. We took a running back. Okay. Two, two, Anybody know him? Lou <laughs> Nichols. Lou Nichols the third, like me. I'm All right, now we're going Fossey to the friends, we don't, we're the followers. We don't have that many people, so I want to catch every question possible because we don't have a huge, huge following tonight. So it'll be easy to stay in with the people that are here. Uh, Jason, good evening. Joey T, 235 on our next pick. We just had that. Tommy Watt, QB from Penn State, is John Elroy. I think he meant L. Not Elway. He's, he's kind of like Taysom Hill. Hi, we... Rhonda. How are you? Chuck, how are you? Great draft. I feel good about it. We will have 10 wins. Could be good. I think Here it's he is. Here's our running back, right? No. Miami, sorry, Rhonda. Sorry, hold on, sorry. hold on, hold on. I think we need to re-sign Adrian Am Amos. We absolutely have. Andrew to. Miller. Or Bubba Baker. Tough. Either one. Something like that's going to happen. Jerry Cassietta said he is rated a top 100 on the CB. Who is? Oh, oh, um, um, Valentine. He is? That's pretty good. Can Chuck you play Lacombs, slot? the love machine. Yeah, it's all about love now. Love what we got another, love that we got another QB. It's hard because people say they love all the time and our quarterbacks. We're going to fight that forever. I got to talk about this. Hold on, I'm not done. I want to get caught no, up. No, they're talking about the quarterback. I know this. I want to talk a little bit about As long as it's 15 it's, seconds. No, it's going to be 30. The guy is very similar <laughs> to Taysan Hill with New Orleans. No, it's going to be 30. He's He started four years at Penn State. He The dude is not a great passer. He's not doesn't have a lot of range, but he's very good in the short game. So it fits what Lafleur likes to do with our short game pass to right. the tight ends in the middle right. of the field. And he's an excellent runner. He's a better runner than even. Right. George Did you Luck. catch Carantine Valentine? Oh, they're talking about maybe they'll show a few highlights of Karen. Maybe they're the, like you said. They're, they're behind. Behind. They're they're behind because right. it goes so fast. But anyway, I'll watch for that. You take the. When Murph is gone. John James, did we say hi to you? Hey, Eddie, how you doing? Be ready for the real rebuild when Merck is gone. I don't get it. Who's Merck? Did you say a word wrong? Spell is that word wrong? Murphy? Murphy? Is that what you meant, Eddie? Which Murphy? I mocked him right? in one of my drafts. Lewis? Nicole? Nicole? The third running back. Yeah, we do got? need a third running back. I mean, got? we took the kid from Iowa last year, and he never got saw the field. I'm not. I don't have a problem with. You know, we also threatened to cut Aaron Jones. I don't know if most of you fans know that we cut his. Right, look at look what Eddie Art Art said. Dylan's replacement. Right. That's so you what I think was like that? To say. I'm, I got no problem with. Little competition for Aaron Jones and Dylan because they have not produced in the red zone, especially Dylan. He's kind of been a bust to me, but we'll see. I could be wrong. We're going to be asking some questions to the fans tonight because I'm curious what, you know, how you guys feel because so many people were ready for Jordan Love. Once in a while, I want to take it away from the players because we don't know yet, Rock, what they're going to be. Now, I want to know how you feel about this draft right now. And how good against Brian was so adamant on offense. Are you cool with that? I hope so for Jordan Love because Jordan Love is a big question mark. The more the more talent you surround him with, the better he's going to look. I, I think 
it was all about, mostly all about Jordan Love, and it was about saving Barry's job, too. He got some studs up front. We lost. We lost. Interesting point. I mean, I are, forgot are, about. I wasn't are, thinking about Coach Barry, Joe Barry, right now. But you're right. He gave him some weapons. He, Maybe you know, it took so much shit from the defense, yes. from the fans, and how they felt about defense. Because Rock, if you really look back in time, there was receivers wide open. Are, is this the guy? That are you is? listening to no, me? I'm trying to find out. He doesn't listen to me. It's I, unbelievable. I'm to... like talk, doing this with my brother. I'm, I'm <laughs> might as well talk to the wall. Now you're I want to watch the highlights of the, of the... There he is, the running back. Here we go. Oh, you should have let me do it. Look, look. Okay, here he is. Let's watch him. We missed him. That was him. He looks good. Did you see how big and stocky he was? Sometimes you should listen to your oldest brother of eight. And you just missed Nichols, the guy that we draft. They were showing highlights. I have that since I know how to operate it. You're like, Dad, it drives me bananas. Oh, you can re go backwards on it? Rewind it? I hope you can. I want to see the highlights of him. <laughs> Too late. You're not recording this, are you? You need to record it so you can't rewind. I can't rewind it. Yeah, we can. Hold on. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I want to watch the highlights of the running back we just took. Yeah, he looks left, solid. Right? There he is. Oh, you got it. Okay, that's good. Shit, sorry. I'll get back. Oh, I see what I did. No, you, you Give can us only, a minute. Can't do it. You can only go so far back. Oh, we'll get it. Just keep... Oh, there it is. See? Hold one minute, please. <laughs> We're trying to... Look, Rock. Look. Watch. I'm moving slowly there. You, all you're going to have is him going in the end zone at the end of the... That's all they showed? No, they showed a whole thing while I was trying to get you to stop and Okay, watch. we're fine. It, it recorded it. I can't... No, it didn't. Yes, it did. You're going to see that. Just asking for some time here. Two thirty six, Rock. This is right about when they show the kid. If they they're gonna right. show. Oh, uh, let me do it. it. No, I gotta hear what they say. We can turn it up because they're the ones that tell us what player to. You don't have to get mad, Rock. I am mad because I want. You don't to have see to get it. mad, Rock. Don't let me turn the volume up so I can hear. I gotta make. Can you at least put the? So you go. There it is. Here it is. Here he is. Oh, this is the cornerback. That's him in blue. I gotta, I gotta open this window. Hold on. Freaking hot in here. You're gonna ruin it. I'm not gonna ruin nothing. I'm gonna turn the volume up. So You're gonna hear. ruin it, Rock. He don't listen to me at all. <laughs> There's our cornerback. I like him. Ooh, he sticks. Carrington Valentine. All right, so we got a press, another press cornerback. Can you still hear us? More that. Yeah, ask him if they can hear us. No, there. <laughs> okay. All right, Joe, talk to your fans. <laughs> See, they go through them quick. See, they get behind three or four picks. I don't know exactly where we are, but I think I'm caught up. He is a good running back. Jim John James knows the guy, evidently. Yeah. He looks solid based on the highlights. I wish we would have took the safety from Georgia. No, we didn't. We, we didn't. We, uh, well, yeah, me too. That was, that was uh, uh, Chris Smith. 
we, me too. I've I've watched all the safeties, but I forgot who got them. Somebody, but when would when would we have taken them instead of taking one of the defense alignment? Because that's all we took today were defense alignment. And we took the court. Oh, we took the quarterback. We could have taken him with our other fifth round pick, right? Can yeah. Can you guys hear us okay? Because Rocky one insists on having the volume up. Ask him. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, see, he's coming up. There's pick 234. Now we're going to watch the highlights. So we're behind. So once you do the highlight, you got to fast forward. You understand? You can do that. Here he is. Okay. Red led the nation in rushing Central Michigan. Look, 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 look at him. I like him. He's got size. He does. <laughs> he's got good. See, he's like. I like that. He's, like, like, he's in between Dylan I and like AJ and, and Aaron. He's in between them, which we don't he's have. A mix. Yeah, he's more like a Delvin Cook type guy, but only he's shorter. He's going to make the team. God, all these guys are going to make the team. All right. It's all yours, Joe. You can Thank do you. your stuff. I got to see our running so back. I am so happy. So that cornerback is going to make the team because he's probably good, good on special out. teams. And and our, and our and that running back is going to make the team. Definitely. And What's our next pick, Rock? Thank you. As a matter of fact, okay, 242. As a matter of fact, he could beat out Dylan or Jones. Like I said, Aaron Jones was was given the option of either taking $5 million off his contract or they were going to set him, they were going to release him because they didn't owe him any money. He's kind of a pay as he played. His guaranteed money wasn't that great that they couldn't cut him. So when they do that, that means then that there's a chance they're going to start giving some competition at the running back position. Real competition. And that kid is sweet. John James, let Nichols, John, we're using all your questions and all your statements today. Let Nichols third is really agile. I agree. When Mark Murphy, re Murphy retires, I hope the Packers sign Louis Riddick, GM, and Goot moves up to president. I got no problem with that. Okay, they're behind on TV with the picks, yeah, they the, sure are. The picks go first, and then the highlights. Jess Gillespie, not a bad draft. I like the tight ends we got. Oh, I love, okay, can I talk about the tight ends? Sure. Okay, so one tight end has got more speed, better hands, but not as good a blocker, Musgrave. He's more like a wide receiver, tight end type guy. The other guy, Kraft, uh, isn't as fast. They both got great hands, but is a better blocker. So one is kind of like, at least Kraft is at least as good as Bobby Tunyon, right? Maybe and probably could block as good as Mercedes. Well, nobody can block as good as Mercedes, yeah. but he's that type of a player. But he also can get out in open field and catch and score touchdowns in the red zone where Mercedes can't. Musgrave can do it all, but he's not as good a blocker. So we have three types of tight ends now. We got DeGuar, who's an H back. We got Musgrave, who's kind of like in between, like a wide receiver. And we got Kraft, who can basically do it all, but isn't that fast. That's our tight ends. Perfect for LeFleur's offense. A plus on the tight end draft. There you go. You heard it from Rock. A plus on the tight end draft. A plus. A plus. As good as Meyer. The combination of the two are as good as just taking Meyer higher. That's what I think. Okay. Five inches of snow in Hurley, Wisconsin. Is that true? Wow. Yuck. Andre Cart the second is a nice edge player still available. Andrew Miller. Ronnie Hickman out of Ohio State is available, and Corey Trice, the CB out of Purdue, is still available. No problem. 
We, yeah. got DBs and running backs are great, and inside linebackers are great on special teams. That's what the seventh round is for. After we took the kicker, we've taken a cornerback and a running back that both will make the team. Can you believe this? Are this many guys going to make the team? <laughs> Rock's got every single person we 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 pick to make the team. Who's not gonna make the team? <laughs> he loves every pick. We haven't even talked about. The only pick you didn't like. You were upset about one pick yesterday. I can't remember. No. What it was. Well, no, I would have taken Hyatt over Reed. That's the only difference because I don't think. But but because we took Wicks, who's like Adams, we haven't talked about the wide receivers yet. But I want I wanted Hot. But now that I see what he did with Wicks. We didn't really need Hyatt because Wicks is Devontae Adams. We got a big wide receiver with great hands. Both these guys are great on 50 Wicks could be months. better than Reed. He's a different type of wide receiver. Did you hear that Devontae Adams said that loves him? Yeah, he's Devontae Adams made over. He's a prototype of Devontae Adams. I'm telling you. Great hands, big, strong, can run inside, Can is going to be great in the rep. We got four guys that are going to be great in the red zone. And this running back, he's going to come in in the red zone. I'm telling you. The Packers were dead, almost dead last in the red zone last year. They were horrible against the run. Good, like, totally fixed that in one draft. Well, I don't know about against the run, but he made an attempt. Our red zone offense is going to be solid. Thank you for letting us know. The sound is good. We hear you okay. Thanks, Hector. Janet, Lacey, Tommy Watt, or Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Nice to see you again. reason we were asking that. All right, we're jumping into questions now. Hit all the questions. You guys are peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> My two favorite Packer fans, Jason Grunn. What's up, Joey and Rock? I am loving the draft this year more than many years in the past. That's all I feel. I love last year's draft, too. Last year's draft was a sign. Eight, rook eight rookies started, nine made the team, and the ninth one is going to could be our right tackle. By the way, did you notice we didn't address how many times did I say we got seven really you good did say offensive that. linemen? That, I've been listening to that. We took wide I receivers, give Ryan his credit we took that tight one. ends, wide receivers, yeah. and defense alignment, and, uh, and a did. backup quarterback. We took a kicker. We got all these other needs that were way more important than a, than a left tackle to replace Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari's <laughs> replacement comes in 2024. Uh, oh, look at the people say it. Oh, I wanted to talk about it. Go ahead, Joe. No, it's fine. It's fine. Glad to see. What's that? You're in a Packer jersey today. Hey, Rocky, glad to see you're in a oh, Packer jersey. instead of jersey. my Jets jersey? Instead of you're getting a Lions jersey. Oh. Remember. oh, the Lions are solid. Yeah, but There's, that doesn't mean you're going to go get a jersey. Even one of the, what are you going to do? Are you going to support them. the Lions? Well, I, how can you hate the Lions? They've been so bad for so long. I, I don't like, really hate the I Lions. Like, it's not like the Bears. But anyway, the, the, the two best in my mind was Philly had the best draft, the Lions, the Bears, and the Packers. Did you catch Rocky? All it's not, it's not like the Bears. <laughs> in other words, we hate the Bears. I don't have hate in my heart for anybody, but I strongly dislike the, players. the Bears. I don't even dislike the Bears that much anymore. I don't know what happened if it was the Farm Rogers they, era, but I don't even care. The yeah, Bears are going to be. There used to be a time when I didn't like a Bear fan. Right. Right, but the Bears. I mean, if you were a Bear fan, especially if you lived in Wisconsin, don't interrupt. I couldn't even relate with how you could be a fan of the Bears. I thought there was something wrong with you mentally. Right, but I we, went through we that thing. Ass so bad that it didn't matter. Oh, by the way, the Bears are going to still go from, suck. No, they're going to go from three wins to seven or eight. The, we're going to see who nets more wins. The Bears, of course, they got more upside because they only won three games, or our draft. But we could go from, we could very, re I've been saying it since January, we're a nine-win football team. I said it actually before the Detroit game, that next year, with Aaron Rodgers, we'd have won 12, 13 games. With Jordan Love, we're going to win nine or ten. And right now, Vegas, I bet you moved up after this draft. Rock, did we, did we miss a pick? 
Uh, well, I guess the interview with Clifford went decent. Yeah, we missed a pick. We did miss. Did we? Did Rocky and I miss a pick? Becky said the next one is two fifty six. We missed two forty two. Did we miss two forty two? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh shit! Who we take? <laughs> I get it. I'll get From it. Iowa State, somebody said. Travis McCleary. I'm sure they're all. They make this they're all DBs and Packers. Look, right? Oh, they're going to show us. Another cornerback. Look, right? You're not even watching. What are you doing? Um, is this him for sure? Oh, he's a safety. We got our safety. He looks good. Goodbye, Savage. Sorry. He can go anytime. Has this kid got speed? And he covers. Oh, he's got good hands. I like it. Anthony Johnson Jr. Why do you have the volume? He can make the team. See that? Smart football player. In other words, we got room for him and the Nichols. What's his name back at Johnson? He's a, we just watched it. Just saw telling me. Anthony you. Johnson Jr. John James just gave it to us. Anthony Johnson Jr. Yep, write it down. So that's another. Write it down, man. Rock. He's a junior. We got a junior and a third. I'm a third. Bullwinkle. Jerry, Jerry Cassiano <laughs> thinks we're the Bullwinkle show. So we <laughs> took a safety. We took a, 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 a cornerback. Who's a hitter like a safety? And we took a running back with our last three picks in the seventh round. See why those seventh round picks are so important? Hector Rodriguez, we got a safety. Packers just took a safety. Okay. Love it. Glad you guys went live today. Made my day. A Thanks, plus John. draft. Corey Fisher, what's up? Yay, Rocky, you're right. The pack took a lot of offense. And Corey needed Fisher. it. And needed it. Because you know what, if you don't score 30, I said this a thousand times, if you don't score 30 points in January, you don't win. Sorry, you guys. I love defense. I'm a defensive coach. It's the best thing. But defense don't win championships on its own anymore. Sorry. you got to have an offense that, that There is a lot makes, of people that would disagree they, with that. I know, but they're wrong. Because you have to score points. It's nice if your defense can score points. I'm not saying that. You're trying to tell me that there isn't people out there that could argue that debate? With you, no, that because could if you... That with you? Mahomes, every team that wins it... I'm not disagreeing Every with you. team that wins just, it has a great mean. offense. Tampa had a... They have a good defense, too. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you can't win with just defense anymore and running the football. you got to throw the ball down the field. It's seven on seven in between the red zones today in the NFL because the rules are changing. This is a great draft. Goot addressed every need we had, especially in the seventh round. That dude deserves a raise. I know they just renegotiated his contract, but his whole staff has done a remarkable job, including getting Aaron Rodgers to drop $15 million on his cap right before they traded him. Yes. He gave us a parting gift. You know what, Rock? I think they're challenging. They don't want to suck. Oh, yeah, like everybody's like, okay, if we're not that good, and we get it, like Stella even right. said, yo, know, we're gonna give you a year. If they're, I'm, I'm more concerned about the year after. It looks I'm like not, we could win. I'm, yeah, you, you got. I've never been. NFL is year to year, man. It's, it's 2023. It's not about 2024. We're in good shape in 2024. But listen, all these guys are multi-million dollar contracts. Their job is to go out and perform. If Goop lays an egg and wins three or four games without Aaron Rodgers, he could be fired. This is about, that's why Goot said, we're not oh. rebuilding. Who I said we're rebuilding? I don't think he could get fired. He'll be, his, he'll be. There's going to be that, that year, that he, cushion year. He wouldn't get fired this year, but he'd be on, his job would be up for grabs. When okay. I make a statement, he goes bananas. 
He can't help but spit it out I, that I'm wrong. No, I didn't say he would get fired this year. I said he could he could be up to... Okay, I didn't say he would be fired at the end of the season. If can't if, change, Rob. No, you if, stick if, with Lafleur what wins, you if Lafleur wins five games this year, everybody... Look at what they did to Barry when our offense could only score... There's a perfect example. Our offense could only score 17 points a game, and everybody wanted to blame Joe Barry, and they're, still, fired blame, and they're still blaming Joe Barry. Fired I'm up. a defensive coach. If you don't have a good offense that can keep your foot, your defense off the field and move the sticks, there ain't no defense that's any good. I'm sorry, especially in football. You have to be able to have a solid offense that can move the ball. And listen, our division... The 30-second rule is, went right out the our, window. Our division is getting better <laughs> offensively, too. Okay, uh, I want to I want to make some statements here. Jen, Jen Pittman, I think Nichols is going to be solid once he stops carrying the ball in the wrong hand. Well, see, that's why he slipped. Watched lots of his college game. Think he's a sleeper. So he's a third down back that's going to start getting. He's, he's going to get a snap. I like when people, fans that go to games and right, stuff, right. jump on the but, thread. Right. I love that. But you see his comment? I'm addressing his comment, okay? that's a, I'm taking that one step further. What he means is, like, he's not in every down back right now because he fumbles or whatever. He holds the ball in the wrong hand. But they're going to have a few plays for him. Once in a while, you're going to see him in there on third down. Once in a while, you're going to see he's going to get some of Aaron Jones' snaps, some of Dylan's snaps. You're going to see that guy on the field this year. I guarantee it. King Tega, King Gaming. What's up, buddy? He to order my love jersey. Vikes had a solid draft. Tommy Watt likes Vikes the, the draft. Hey, Bob Foster, what's happening? Hey, you guys, didn't think you'd be on today. Well, Thank made Rocky that comment. That. Yeah, Rock made us go live. So here we are. Yeah, I love today. Can't wait till Rick comes back on the show. Joe and Rick can be on the show because I'm not going to be around for a while. Uh, Anthony Johnson, finally, he is pretty good, too. We really made up for our horrible first-round pick. Uh-oh. <laughs> John James don't like the first-round pick. I like the first-round pick. John James knows his shit, too. He's pretty good at it. I, I mean, there, there might have been better guys at Edge that Stella. we could have took. <laughs> But I like the pick because of who else we took. We could, took Colby Wooden, and we took Brooks, who might, Rick Stella, I agree with him, might be the biggest steal of the draft. So when you look at those three guys as a package and how they can all play different positions, yeah, there's more talented guys than Lucas out there that we could have took at edge. But when you look at the package, like the tight ends, I love the first pick. What if Smith becomes great? JSN. What if he's great? Uh, and and finesse or whatever, Van Ness isn't good for two, three years. Yes. Would you say that's a mistake then? Yeah. So in other words, we could have took Smith. Stella believes that first round should make an impact immediate no matter what. Well, especially not, top 15. That's not Goot's history. He took Gary. So it, it is partly a move that addressed immediate needs. Because he took the other two guys, but it also makes us really good in the future too. So, right, I get why he made the pick. I, I think the pick. See, now we're gonna have to listen to Stella. If he's great. That's all I'm telling you. He's gonna be like, can you believe we passed on him now when he's got six, seven hundred yards and we're eight, nine games into the season? That could happen. Well, yeah, we if he's that took, good, we could have took other edges. Yeah, we could have took a wide receiver and a different edge in the second round and had the exact same draft. And I'm not, talking about Smith. I right said now. that we could have took Smith in the first round, passed on the edge, and taken an edge in the second round. That's what Stella means, and not Jaden Reed. That's very possible. It didn't happen, so we did. I think that's what he means by we. We fixed it. Goop fixed it based on what we took after the first round pick. Okay, Tammy said it looks like we had a good draft. Bob said not keen on the cute quarterback and kicker. Should have took a kid from NC State kicker. Uh, kicker from NC did State. someone say that? Was it the Illinois kicker too that was really good? What did you think of the QB pickup? Bridget was hoping you guys would have been on earlier. Sorry about yes. that, Bridget. Me too. I've been sitting here. I watched the whole draft here since 11 o'clock. I've been waiting to come on. 
Explain, Joe. Tommy Watt, wait till they prove it on the field, Rock. Steve. Oh, okay, Rizzo. <laughs> AJ. I know that, Watt, obviously. But that doesn't, you know, okay. Okay. be optimistic about who they pick. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Come on. Come on. Steve Spurrier always said, best defense is a good offense. If you can right. keep the other team off the field, you're going to win. John, I like John Jim. Him and I are like, we think almost exactly <laughs> alike. By the hey, way, Kendall, Watt, i got to answer Watt's question. Five it seconds. starts with being drafted, Watt. No player ever had a great career without being drafted. Very few were drafted and became great. Okay? So there. So don't tell me that they got to be good on the field. I know that. <laughs> that actually was pretty They're good. They're going to be good on the field. I guarantee it. Not all these guys. We're Jason Toppy. There he is right there. Look, look. Jason, <laughs> Jason Toppy said you... <laughs> the Packers have $54 million to spend next year. Because they're... Cause of the, they, people got that wrong. Our cap hit is different. But I asked you to get Michael Klein to explain how Rodgers gave us a discount on a pro, on a prorated on the Packers. Rodgers gave us a discount on his prorated bonus that was due in September. So it would have been a refund anyway, but it was able to clear out the cap space for 2024. So Rogers took 15 million less. I don't care anybody says. Tommy Watts here and his wait till they prove it on the field, Rock. Hey, we'll use that Tommy Watt come in. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to guy. do a few things differently. Hey, well, uh, <laughs> can I see minuses? No, yep, we do. I got an A, A plus. Hang in there with us, please. Yeah, you don't always get right, what well, guy you want, seat, Watt, but move, you get the positions you want. Let's see if we can get Watt in here. We got another push back, back, Rock, all the way. Everybody come close. I'm trying, I'm trying. Give us a second. Can you Watt, see us all? Sick, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're doing a slight change here. Oh, here we go. This will take a half an hour. No, it won't. We got a little delay. We're fine. That's How funny. About the Eagles, did they do good? Look at their picks. Hey, was it a good? Was it a good draft? Forget. Oh. Hey, was it a good draft? <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> you too early. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you're in here. Late. You're late. Everybody Forget says it's a great it. draft. Are we good? Can you hear us? All right. We're back couldn't, live. Couldn't stand it anymore. Rock, <laughs> Rock was making promises that his. That our guys couldn't cash out on. Ooh. Let me give you a little. Let me give you a little. Yeah, he's he's, 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 he's got to play a few downs first, right? For what? What you I'm just saying, the best draft. It is a great draft. I like it. Too. Did you like last year's draft? You didn't like no. last year's draft. No. Oh, sorry about that. These guys start. <laughs> so there. Okay. So Tommy Watt is a good friend of mine, lifelong best friend since we were seven years old at St. Mary's Five. Catholic School, and now he's joined in on it. Tommy played was a lineman his entire life. So you Defense pass, at right? Rock. I'm talking. <laughs> Jeez. I just want to make sure you pack up. Can't, can't help it. Keep going. Just, you know, never you can't hold your thought. <laughs> he runs. It. I'm with you. You know why? Because I grew up listening to you. So Tommy, Tommy spent a lot of time coaching and playing the sport. So it's always nice to get Tommy's perspective on how he feels about lying to me. Now you th that's not saying he doesn't understand the entire game of football. Did you say that he was? A but lineman? Tommy's a great was a great lineman. There you go. See, I would have back in the like day. <laughs> All right, let's stay tuned in. Scott Liberaki, what's up? Greetings from Florida, Scott Liberaki. All right, we gotta move in a little. We used to call him Liberaci. I think we're fine. Can you guys hear us? Okay. Go back to the West Coast office. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> right above Joe Aber Aber. I can't read that far. Joe Abernan. Oh, oh, sorry. Go down one more. There. Go, go back. To Joe Abernan. Well, that's what the Jets are gonna run. They fired Lafleur's brother. Joey, they check hired, your instant message. They hired Nathan Hackett. So this is what happens to me a lot. Hey, Rock. 
Carl, Carl, Carl Brooks, defensive line. I love him. Out of Bowling Green. Yeah, I love him. He was supposed to be drafted he's, in the third round, and he slipped. I spent the last half hour watching him, film on him, and he's athletic enough. If he, if he, if he toned down, he's athletic enough. He could play inside or Why outside. Oh, oh, I don't think so. Dude, he's unbelievable. I'm not saying he would. I'm just trying to tell you how yeah. athletic he is. But he's definitely a versatile oh, defensive dude, he, lineman. He gets he's going to play the edge and the interior. Dude, he gets off the ball a whole step ahead of everybody else on the D-line. And so I love, he's a little shorter, 6'3", right. he plays low, Stocky. really explodes off the ball. And I he's think gonna, he slipped because he played in a mid-major. Of course, conference. yeah, Bowling Green, nobody... You know, watch. They don't get the credit. Yeah, but he is super athletic. I mean, this guy is right. He was he was taken with uh, with our 179th pick. So he was taken with one of he was taken with oh our pick. The kicker was taken with the Jets' sixth round pick. By the way, yeah, I I really like that pick. Andrew Miller, I love the pick of Anthony Johnson Jr. Safety out of Iowa State. I think he's good enough. To compete for a starting position in year one or two. Absolutely. He'll be on special teams, too. You know, that's that. there's three parts of football. Special teams, offense, and defense. They all start. And coaching. Four parts. Well, coaching. I'm talking about <laughs> as a player. So, like, we know Maine, how bad it is to have a bad special team. So, I love these guys. Maine Richards, I think we did good on tight end. But can they block? We lost two great blocking tight ends. To help our run, so we our did. run game. This we is did. a good topic we because did. that's what we. That could be why Dylan and Aaron Jones even that's was so great. The first guy, the first tight end we took, is a horse. That guy can block. Um, Kraft can block Kraft. too. From no, the second guy we took. Okay. Okay. Musgrave was Musgrave. Block. Musgrave's not the blocker. Yeah, what? He's the shitty, end. but at least it's the latest. Um, but Wicks can block. And Wick, in other words, a wide receiver, he's like Devontae <laughs> Adams. He can block. Because, you know, right. Dobbs and Watson don't block. Well, Watson can block, too. But. No, 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 I'm sorry, Joey. I'm, I am wrong. It is Kraft. Yeah, Kraft Get out of block. South Dakota. Yeah, he he's the big dude. Yeah. Oh, now you like him. Well, he's a, <laughs> hey, I love a big tight end. Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 he's too He's too hard. There you go. Watson, oh. you got to wait till they're on the field, but every guy I love. <laughs> Don't yeah, worry right. about the, the delay because this All is. Right. You know who I didn't like at first? I didn't like the, the first Lucas. pick. Lucas. I didn't like the first picket because I was so I can't positive wait. that we needed a wide receiver. However, the upside of this guy is off the charts. Yeah. Six, what? Like six, five, six, six, 275. It, his, his, nickname, his nickname is Hercules. Yeah. I guess the guy's an animal in the weight room. Right. Oh yeah, so you'll love him. Yeah. You'll love he him. could be a great. I, you know, he's what? a pick for tomorrow, and yeah. he's a pick for today. And I okay. like, I like the, his. Gudikins <coughs> loved him. Right now, he's been relying on power only. He's, he's just been bull, he's exactly. just been a, a bull rusher. But that's that Joe after that I saw your picture, you said that's the knock on him. They Ooh. said he would have benefited from. Mel Kuyper said he would have benefited from staying one more year at Iowa, yeah, which yeah. is true. But so what? Some we grab him. So why not grab him before someone else gets him? I didn't realize him. Rock until you said it. He's twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. He's two hundred seventy five pounds. Twenty one years old. Can you imagine what he's going to look like when he's twenty seven? What is he really good he's into his man Watt. muscles? Okay, let's just face it. He hasn't even gotten into his man muscles yet. <laughs> oh, no. Man. Tommy Watt, good to have you on the show, brother. Man. Tommy just pulled up. Now, how transparent and cool is this show? Tommy Watt drives from his house over here and jumps out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Looks through the window. Hey, what's the hey, what's the, yeah, Looks he's through the window. Nuts. He's been watching the draft, too. What's that All right, let's again? get back to the fans. You okay, you can hear us. Hi, Tommy Watt, Lacey. You need this. Is that Lacey Underwood? You, you need sponsors. sponsors. Hold on, Rock. You need sponsors and take Michael's job. Who's Michael? John Scott. Oh, right. Michael's the guy that from the. the hey, hi, Beck. You know, Bob. Michael's. Oh, the, that's funny. Yeah, that's the guy good. that's yeah. a blogger now. Yeah, we're way better than those guys. Way better. We're hey, fans. Jason Toppy, what's up? Hey, Joey, would love to be.
be on the show sometime during the season if it's possible. I live in the area. Thank you, Jason. We'll take that into consideration. Bill Michaels. Bill Michaels, job. That was good, John. The sound is fine. Can can hear you good. Sound is good. Welcome, Tommy. Tammy Mullis. Tammy, where are you from? You seem to be on the thread a lot. Becky said hello to Tommy as well. Maine Richards. Good pick up on the f finesse after the fact. And the new defensive tackle that should help us get to the quarterback defense is getting better. Wait now, a minute. stop. Who's Let's Vanessa? talk about that. Who's Vanessa? What Tommy was just talking about. No, no. good pick up on Vanessa. Oh, Luke, Lucas. Lucas, Vanessa. Oh, Luke Van, 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 Van Ness. Van Ness. I call him Lucas. Yeah. Her I'm going to call him Hercules from here on out. By the way, our two first picks were Luke and Lucas. How about that one? Yeah. And we got a Kraft cheese. Tucker, right? Yeah. Tucker? Tucker Kraft. <laughs> Colby Wooden. <laughs> Sean Clifford. We got a guy with two first names. Sean Kraft Clifford. Kraft cheese. We got a Dontavius or Dontavian Wicks. Oh, man, I love doing this. Dontavian. Oh, that was This is sheer entertainment. It's hey. Not only is it entertainment for them, it's entertainment for me. I thought <laughs> we got rid of Dravavi. Dra How do you say Adams' name? Dra Dravavius oh. Adams? Hey, Ron, I, I missed your comment when I said Sean Clifford, Penn State QB. I like him. He's like Taysom Hill. What did I say? I, John Elway 2.0. No. He doesn't have he's a good done. arm, does he? Oh, yeah. Is he? The kid from Penn State? Oh, he can't throw the ball they down They said the he's field. super smart. Super. He said it would be great in the uh, oh, in the quarterback's room. Rock. All I can tell you is I spent a half an hour watching video on the is guy. He, can he throw the ball yeah, down? Yeah, he can throw it down. He could him. beat out Jordan Love at some point. He could. And, and I don't even care about that. It's not about that. It's about if Jordan Love goes down. With this young roster, we need two quarterbacks. You <laughs> saw what happened to San Francisco. <laughs> right? Three quarterbacks. Yes, yes. One oh my like God, just one next, I don't even know if I one can better say than that. the next. Hershey Squirts would be a good draft pick. <laughs> okay, John, you, you and Tom. Oh, well, hold on, it's super Wait, excited. Oh, hold on, oh, me in that in that realm. Wow, wow. you were fired up. Wait till they play. But I get it. They do have to prove themselves. Why don't you put it like that? They still got to prove themselves on the field. Of That's course, what you yeah. meant. Okay, yeah. I agree with can that. I, yeah, well, it's just like the Van Ness. <laughs> All right, all of a sudden you're going to go from. Big Ten West right. to the pros. <laughs> All right? You're, You're going against that's, that's what Stella says. The top 2%. Right. Or it's even less. It doesn't it. mean just Stella does good live in Iowa. It means he's going to be great overnight. If you're not from the SEC, Stella right. doesn't think no. that. Then you could say that about every no, single no. rookie in the look league. How, look how many Big Ten uh, players make the pros. Michigan State, yeah. Iowa, Iowa State, yeah. Wisconsin. I mean... Don't even talk about Ohio State. They're they're every other guy. By the way, the Packers are up in two more picks. Okay, can I go back to the fans go ahead. now? Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> you know who else has a lot of Kentucky? Kentucky has a lot Super of Super excited to see Luke Musgrave play the pack. The guy is talented. Patrick, did you see him play? Just curious. Hey man, hop a toss two times. What's up, DHBF? Lazard was a blocker. We Deb West. Lazard. Yeah. Deb West. He was awesome as a blocker. Right, but he he was very average. He was Kraft is a huge good I'm pick. Glad he's gone. Kraft is a huge good pick in hindsight, but both tight ends are good blockers. I heard I heard Musgrave was weak at blocking. I maybe I read something. He's a little smaller, no doubt. All right, Andrew Miller. I'm excited to see Goody's press conference after the draft wraps Me up. Me too. Maine says Vanessa is the next Clay Matthews. True, kind of similar, but better. More like T.J. Watt. He can. He's a down lineman, right? What? He's a. He's going to be like Preston Smith or Rashad yep. Gary. He can line up down. Yes. And right. he can stand up too. He's yeah. more. He's more of a down lineman. I really want to get caught up because the Packers are up in one pick. So let me finish out here. You don't want to go, okay. Hawkeye. Scott Liberaki. Hey, Tanya Smith. Hey, Joey. I love the chair. Who's going to be yeah. Mr. Irrelevant? God ah, damn, that's Jeez, a good respect out of me. Craig, that's a that good question. Do we draft last? Do we got the last? Who's going to be draft? Mr. Irrelevant? Man, Tanya, that's a great question, man. 
Because uh, that's the new thing, what? The, the 49ers have now, because they took him out of the, what, sixth round rack? Bur uh, Bur uh, Burke? Ooh. Mr. Irrelevant. Purdy. 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 Well, Whatever. Popular. Sorry, Rock. I only got to remember <laughs> 5,000 people's hey, names. Hey, can you scroll this down? You just got to show no, up. Joe, don't scroll down. Don't I've talked to everybody. I like yeah. giving everybody hey, a shot at that. Stop, stop. Why? Rock. I get hollered at Fill me in on this running back. Wait, hold on. Hey, everybody Joe forgets Will Levis started with at Penn State, but could never get on the field because Sean Clifford beat him out. Right. Wow. Interesting. Right. He's that talking is about the, true. The kid from Kentucky I that went, kind of remember went that. to, I forgot who he went. USA. Oh, Packers took another wide receiver, baby. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Three wide receivers. Let's check him out. Michigan? Oh, the white dude. I like this dirt rock. Hold on. Oh, the white dude. I like yeah, that's his kid. He's got great hands. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? This dude shows up on third downs. He's clutch in those situations. So it's kind of it's a number, probably a number four. Well, he's got wheels. Looks like Watson isn't going to be the only one doing that. Oh, he could beat out Torre. It'll be interesting to see if Bell can call it a little niche. Yeah, we, 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 we're wrong guy. Ah, you guys are wrong. No, that was him. That's him. That's him. Are you sure, Rob? Uh, no, that wasn't him. We had the wrong guy. Sorry, got him. I liked him from Michigan. He was kind of like the... We had the wrong guy. Shoot. So we got a wide receiver, too. Who's this guy? Grant? Oh, okay. DeBose. Never heard of him. Charlotte? The 2023... Now they're going to go off. Is presented by Mary Kay Sherman said every time they do the Packers, they yeah. take a commercial. Hotel of a that kid, I love that kid from Michigan. He was like, he's like, kind of like, uh, what's his name? The Packers. Hey, a lot of good football down in North Carolina. Charlotte. All right, let's keep moving, man. I like it. Our pick is in. I feel like Musgrave and Luke Van Ness have the highest upside of any player we have drafted in recent memory. But I have a feeling it's be a. I have a feeling they have very big potential to bust. I don't as well. No, they're going to be guys that they're going to count on right away. They're not going to be. I'm not saying they're going to be Pro Bowlers. Okay, but they're going to contribute immediately to the Packers. It's okay, Andrew. You just did. Rock didn't agree with you on that one. Doesn't it happens all the time. Charlie West. Hey guys. Emmanuel Madrano. He's going to be. J Lo's backup. Love. That's uh, John Scott Wanaki, home of the Green Bay Packer house. John, is your were you the one that was on TV? I'm not sure. Just there was a big special on it. I thought the home was in Wanaki, where the, he's got like the field in his backyard. He's got. Bleachers, it's nuts. Well, maybe we'll do a show. Now. I wonder if that's if you're that guy. If you're not, no problem. That but. depends if Joe buys our gas. <laughs> <laughs> Joey T. Sally says hello right on, Sally. You passed up Lu Lucas Van Ness as compared to T.J. Watt. Watt. That's huge. I Luke. think he is. Jason Toppy. He has a size. Wisconsin guy. Nobody thought T.J. was going to be that good. We passed on him. Could you imagine if he's the defensive player of the year in the next two years? He could be. That would be nuts. He's got he that type up of to about 275. Wow. Ripped. They said that's rare to see a guy that weighs, DJ what? weighs that much to be ripped like that. I'm looking him up. Uh, John James, sorry. More players in the NFL than any other team but the SEC. I believe are better prepared because they are competition of the SEC powerhouse conferences. Okay. Very, that's what, yeah, I, I agree with that, that we were talking about that earlier. Pack is on the clock. Okay, we fell a little bit behind. Let me see. I can't believe we didn't draft an offensive lineman in this year's draft. Rocky kind of covered that. Didn't feel we needed one, but that doesn't mean we didn't need we one. need one. We got seven guys that can start. Let's see what Watt has to say about it. Can you never have enough linemen, Watt? Never have enough. You didn't ask that. <laughs> right, now, here's the question. That's a different kind of question than uh, are we good enough at offensive line? Uh, here's, here's, talk. Here's, <laughs> a, here's something to think about. 
All right. The offensive linemen that we've been drafting for the last five, six, ten years are pass pass protecting type guys. Okay. All right. So the changes have. We are going to really rely on the run this year and going forward. Jordan Love is going to be one, two progression, uh, take off. He's going to be more like Fields, you know, and you need to be able to have. Guys that, you know, they're going to have running plays set up for Jordan Love. So we do need some uh, run we blocking have, guys. We've been changing to that, if you haven't noticed. Well, well, you know, that's interesting what Tommy just said. Yeah, because a lot of recruiters, been, been, when they... Es- that's part of why Rodgers was on his way out. Yeah. A lot of these recruiters, when they assess these players and these linemen, they'll say what Tommy just said, because I've been... Re- Writing down and reading for years about it, where he's great, you know, pass blocking, but as soon as he's got to stand up, Watt, he's not the same guy. Yeah. That's what you're talking yeah, about. Absolutely. Or they're good pass blockers, but as soon as they got to run block. Completely different type style. of body, body type, yes. Guy, run block, look at the Titans. It's a perfect example. Those guys but are we're not a run ones. first team. No, okay. we're not. We're never going to. San Francisco's not a run first team. Caffrey had like, he didn't even have 75 yards in the NFC title game. It, the, it, the game is throwing the ball today. I'm sorry. It's, it's running the ball. You guys always say this. Every, I, I, we, didn't, we didn't destroy teams by running the football this year. Titans. You said we were going to. Titans. Where did they finish? It, Seven wins. Yeah, but if the Titans would have, you see how hard they started off? They, I think they won their first five games, six games. And they fell off at the end of the year because of the amount of abuse. I agree. But what I'm saying is today, yeah. it's seven-on-seven seven football in between the red zones. Why? That's why we drafted three wide receivers and two tight ends. Yeah. So so I know you guys all love to run the football, and that's great, but I don't know any team in the NFL that's winning by running the football now. It's all passing. Tom Brady, uh, what's his name with the Rams? Stafford. Stafford with the Rams, Mahomes. True. Okay, I mean, it's just, and Detroit got better with Goff and picking up White and Philly. Now, Philly runs with the quarterback. That's a little different. Now, I don't want to shortchange Andrew Miller because he did say, I know we didn't need one, but I'm surprised we didn't take a left tackle for the future. I'm not. Because Bak- because Bakhtiari... If a player's gone, no matter what. Well, I knew year, we weren't right? going to do that when we signed Yash. So he makes sense by saying that. Right? Next year, yeah, and, next year. And Rock, you really are better off taking a guy off free agency with linemen. We've had success, Billy Turner, guys like that. Because, you know, those guys have to grow into their body. You can't take a Unless you're going to get a stud in the first ten yeah. picks, like the Bears right. got. I forget guys, about right? that. Yeah. Skronsky from Northwestern. Those, are, these, those guys are You get these guys on a professional weight program where they're really going to bulk up. They they mature. But let me let me address that. Okay, so so Yash, who played left tackle last year? Yash played left tackle and did a great job. Two years without box. Yeah. Tom played left tackle, did a great job. Jenkins. Tom played guard. Jenkins played left tackle. Why does everybody think we need a left tackle? We need a right tackle. That's Andrew Miller, Rocky called it. He said they didn't need to draft an offensive line in this year's draft. You did say that. But this is great. Thanks, Dwayne. But we can get rid of Newman, our last guy. We could pick up a guy. Why? Could pick up a guy right now. Yeah. And they might get a get a nice. Uh, Thank you, Kansas a, City. Ta- uh, oh, is this Mr. Irrelevant? Great weekend. We've been yep. Having a blast. We're done, huh? Here this every year. You don't know this, Joe. See, the you last know. player? Yeah. Joe, what, do you, what do you got to put me down for? You always got to put me down. He's like, you don't even know. Don't you know they have a bank? You don't even know it. He gets a kickoff. He likes a one up. <laughs> every you year always the same speech. One on every year. That's because you've never watched the draft to the end in your life. Jonathan Hall. <laughs> do you realize that Ricky Stell and I, 30 Curly. years ago, when Tony Mandrich was drafted, we used to watch the whole draft. Have you ever gone weekend. to the draft? Now, yes. Joey's got it. Joey did. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't pay attention. Who's Mr. Irrelevant? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Juan Johnson, a defensive tackle from Toledo. All right. 
Mm-hmm. L.A. Rams had the, the Mr. Irrelevant, yeah. Dewan Johnson. And the Rams, their first pick of the day <laughs> at the draft. Them in Denver. Why, they gave no, so many away? Rams had a shitload of picks. So he makes like 100000 bucks at a banquet. He goes and he talks. It's not me, I just live in Wanakee. Darn it. All right, John, that's okay. You're still from Wisconsin. We love you. He's kind of in bad for the last guy in the draft. Oh, <laughs> what do they do to the, with the Mr. Irrelevant? Do doesn't like the team do like weird Look shit with him? No, he goes to a, a banquet in L.A. Right. In, in like a high school banquet. And every it's a fundraiser for charity and he talks at it and they oh, give wow. him money like a hundred thousand bucks or something and they raise money for charity. Right, for the first time you do no more than me. <laughs> <laughs> hey how how fast are these guys that don't make the draft jump on the XFL? It seems going right now. Um you know what they said how good he was? Do you know the Packers and Bobby was Bobby Tanya drafted? We got Packers are famous for that. Yeah, was Lazard, was Lazard was drafted. Okay, we're going to wrap it up soon. Sorry, but we are. Gary Van Ness, Smith. Can't double team them all. Right. Gary Van Ness and Smith. Gary. Preston Smith. By the way, Gary's not back till November. So. Mark Nelson. Hey, Kirk, what's up, buddy? He's in a garbage. Hey, why is I'm Kirk? tuning in on a shout-out to Tommy Watt. What's, Kirk, Kirk, what's Kirk's middle name? Jed? <laughs> <laughs> They share their they oh, share their nice. things together. I, oh. like, I like Jen better anyway. <laughs> Do you think the two tight end set should be used again, Brett Favre? Yes. Back in the be, day, I that was that actually, last night. Did you allow? Well, he's two, asking tonight. Yeah, we're so we're going to see a ton of two two tight end sets, of course. Okay. Three. Three. I actually woke up thinking about that. The the Chamura Jackson, hey, Keith Jackson. Is the Gora expendable now? Nah. I brought up a uh, point. Lafleur's offense lacks creativity. Interesting. Or was that was that Aaron Rodgers calling the plays that didn't mesh? We're gonna find all that out. You can't put your hand in front of your mouth. Right? Uh, you, got uh, it. Uh, <laughs> you know what I think about? Kansas City in the Super Bowl. Oh, they got Mahomes. No, but the creativity of that offense. That he, 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 he held on to play. But you can't. Mahomes is an anomaly. Yeah. Patrick Ullman. Yes, I have seen Musgrave play. He played for my favorite college team here in Oregon. The Beavers. The Beavers. He is a leader, can block, catch with efficiency. The Beavs' highest pick since Brandon Cook. Oh, nice. Wow, yeah, interesting. Thanks for that, Patrick. That helps out fans who are listening and who are on the thread to know that. Morgan, greatest. Brandon Cooks. Greatest weight room in all of college football. Nike. Oregon. Do you want to know that we put the, the roof yeah. I put on at, at the Viking Stadium is the same roof that was just put on at Oregon? How crazy is that? Have you ever seen the weight room? It's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Yep. Great show, past three days, John James. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this for us. Thanks. It makes watching the draft more fun. Thank you. Thanks, John. That's our yep. goal. John Scott, tight end set, Super Bowl champions, 1996. Right. That was that, um, who was it? <laughs> Free agency tomorrow. That was, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Chamara and... Uh, uh, Keith Jackson. Keith Jackson. I said that, but you, yeah. didn't, you ignored me. Right. But that's okay. Right. All, right. Right. all year, we've been talking about a run, another... We need a third running back. We got him. How many, I know, but how many times last year was... Dylan's at this Dylan point. hurt. Aaron Jones on and Jones hurt. Yes. We were, we were down to one guy. Not to mention, when Dylan has the ball... You pretty much know what he's going to do. He's very predictable. For, very, he's just going to run, run. Now we have a uh, this kid looks in, like, between. in I, between. Did I hear it? That he has a the leading rusher for the whole college ranks. Yeah, he's I don't tough. know. I, like hey, I thought you said that. I Anyways, he, he looks tough. He's short, stocky, shifty. Kind of, kind of has right. that that um, 
Barry Sanders type cutback. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he's strong. Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be great. Well, we know who Mr. Irrelevant is now, Tanya. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. you all, Wendy, have you ever missed a live show? You and Lacey Williams, I think, have seen every single live show since we started. Yeah, like forever. Rock freaks out when, when I lose the cup. The Jersey put a chip on shoulder for sure. Forget about it. Jersey put a chip. Uh, not sure. Moving on. Is that my jersey? Dejan Johnson, Mr. Yeah. Toledo had a good year this year. Danny, oh, there's Danny from last night. Gibson, hey Danny. Who's from Toledo? The running back? No. Uh, yeah. He's from Central Michigan, isn't he? Central Michigan, yeah. That's a tough conference. We need a run game. That was our problem for many years. I agree. What do you mean? A year, two years ago, each Dylan and Aaron both had a thousand yards. That's a fallacy. Yeah. That's like. They, when Watt and Hegwald say that to me, that we need to run the ball more. How are you going to get more than a th two guys that make a 1,000 yards? I dude? agree with you, Maine. I'm sorry, doesn't. the better your passing game, the better your running game. But, but, Rod, okay, what has taken over the running game is the short pass to the running back. Like Charles White from Brady always had him from Wisconsin. Yeah. San Fran does that a lot. San Fran yeah. does it. Now, McCaffrey, he's special. We well, don't have him yeah. I mean, if we you know they that. can hear you better. They don't talk. They don't throw the. They don't throw the ball. Look at Watt and talk. To they him. don't throw the ball enough to Jones anymore either. So maybe that'll change this year. Good now, Rock, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you all riled up right now. Can you imagine if we had this draft? In yeah, 20, I know. in 2020. I don't mention that. <laughs> if, you, if they had the same motivation in 2020 yeah, to, to build to build oh, weapons geez. before Adams, MVS, Lazard, EQ, oh my and everybody God. else left. All right, we're not going to talk about the past because well, they, they changed. They finally bought into our philosophy. I get it. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm happy. Well, they went weapons instead of defensive backs. They took defensive backs at the end of the draft, where we should always take them. No more first, second, third round Thank defensive you. backs. Thank okay, you. we don't need them in the first. We don't need Savage and give up Debo Samuel and mm. AJ Brown type guys for some guy that's an average safety. Yeah, who, Amen. Who, who turned out to be our best? <laughs> Defensive back last year, in my mind, Ford, Ford and Douglas. <laughs> I said that yesterday. Douglas. Hey, where did Paul Alexander? Well, I know, but Ford was I a. Said Ford was. Where did we get him? Seventh round last year, was right? it? No, Ford was a free agent. Free agent. Andrew Miller gives the draft a B plus. Can't wait to see the players in August and September. Hey guys, love watching you. What's up, Eric? But start asking people for their draft grades. I want to hear them. Yeah, let's do it. Everybody throw in their gra uh, draft Joe's grades. Joe's going to read, but every once in a while I can break in I'll, on them. I'll That's get, is I'm going to say, say B+. Plus. That's Ooh, what I get. I got an A. Rocky loves it. John James, XFL is getting some talent that may translate into NFL carriers. True. Hey, time out. Where's your mom? She never misses. They're, they're, she's flying. Oh. Tammy Mullis Osinik. Osinik. Thanks for the great draft show, guys. Kept it interesting, and comedy was outstanding. <laughs> Rocky doesn't <laughs> see the comedy in this. Oh, yeah. He's like looking at it and going, what are they talking about? <laughs> Not, nothing was better than Thursday night at Stella's. <laughs> I was rolling. Were you? Yes. Oh, when, when Stella got up and he was pissed? Oh, that was the best. <laughs> I was doing the same thing. I love Rocky the was, I, Rock, No, Rocky was worried he was too mad. No. Yes. A little bit over the top. No, hey, Stella was fine. I, I, you know, I've warm, I warmed up to Hercules now. I got mad when they traded down, and I thought they traded out, but we got to 50th pick, and Joe won't turn the volume up or let me watch the screen, so I never know what the hell's going on. Not to mention, everything's on a different timeline. <laughs> I know yeah. that. Like the, the, <laughs> the TV is behind the <laughs> internet. If you're on your laptop... By, yeah, yeah. By the way, that's why we got all those cornerbacks and stuff because we traded down in the second round twice and got two additional picks and still got the guys we wanted. Good right. job, yes. dude. Yes. I'll give you at least a All right, we're points. wrapping it up here just right. a couple because the people are tuning off. Who do you think makes the roster behind A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones? We just said. 
Hold on. Okay. Got a couple Dude, questions. Aaron Jones is not going anywhere. No, he said behind them. Who's our third oh. running back? Lou Nichols. New, Lou Nichols. Our new guy? Yeah, love For him. sure. He's going to be a starter, actually. He said, will it be Lou Nichols or will it be Patrick Taylor? I like Patrick Taylor. Nah, Patrick Taylor's gone. Those guys are all the kid from Iowa. They're practice squad guys. Andrew, remember what he just said, because I, I bet you Patrick... No, Taylor no, he blew his knee gone. out. He had his chances last year. No way. This kid's going to, this kid, okay, I define a starter as like a rotating guy. This guy will rotate in the offense and be a part of the offense. If you want to grade it, that's fine, but I'd also like to hear how many wins you think the Packers are going to get now with this draft because they definitely tried to help our offense and LaFleur doesn't have to cater to Rodgers anymore. He gets to cater, he gets to be the coach of Jordan Love. I see. I didn't. You didn't read the whole thing. Well, you you jump out the, the, there. The right? Patrick Taylor and the other kid from Iowa brain. last year that made the team are going to be on the practice squad. This kid's going to make the football. I team. can't control his brain, Watt. <laughs> it doesn't work. Hey, God. Here, here's a question for you. Two. Here's a question for you two. Control your brain. Does <laughs> did Goot get a QB? On purpose. Because he doesn't have a hundred percent. Confidence in Jordan Love. Did we just need, or did we just need both? All right. Both, both. Absolutely, it can be all both. Right. And they're not 100% sure on Jordan Love. Nobody is. Yeah. But I mean, they've all been, okay, I think. To take a, to take a QB fifth round. Why not take a quarterback now that can develop with this young team alongside of Jordan Love? Because you know what? They haven't signed Jordan Love yet. If he has a great, they can fifth-year option him. Let me get this real quick, Joe, because now we're getting into technical stuff. They can fifth-year option Jordan Love, and guess what? He can go be a free agent after 2024. He does not have to sign with the Packers. So if he has a great year this year, and they don't fifth-year option him by June 1st or renegotiate his contract... He's a free agent. That's why they yeah. took him. Hey, any Penn State uh, fans out there that can give us a little bit more? It's but there's not Big not Ten now. fans. It's over with. There's Big Ten fans. See, well, he, 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 yeah, he, I, he, I, I watched, a good point about. I watched him this year take Wisconsin apart. Is, the is, he also said, "Is Lafleur going to run three running backs on a 52-man roster?" And put, or is he going to put two in the practice? You have, no. to, you have to have three. Three, three on the 52. So every year is you three. You have to have three. Three. They didn't oh. have three. Half last year. year. Last year. Yes. Yes. Three quarters of the year they didn't because the guy got hurt. No, they always have three guys that, that are active. As Some people are back. still oh. hanging on in there. Sorry. That, that Deb West gave it a beer. B. Jerry Cassiata gave it a B minus. Why not? When, somebody, when someone gives it a minus, I wonder why. Because they're not, they're not sold on it. How can, how can I ask questions and you're 10 minutes behind? He always does that. I told you. Don't, don't start. Why? Hey, I want to know why why we're not getting any A's. I want to know why. When you give a B, give your reason. Because the Packer fans are hesitant. Because the Packer fans are spoiled. We're spoiled with great quarterbacks. Hey. We're not spoiled in the playoffs. No, no, no. Hey. Packer fans are We're not spoiled I, in the I, playoffs. I can answer that. Stop, hey. Watt. This because guys great. that wanted an offensive tackle Wait, didn't get an offensive crazy. tackle. <laughs> what? Hey, Joey, where's the frog <laughs> yeah. ah, Joey, was a, Joey was like I know this. Watt would have been eating them. It was so I disgusting. can't believe I just ate a frog cool. I kept thinking of a, in a pool lot in the backyard yeah, with all the toads and yeah. shit. I, I, I want to thank Rick Stella for Where? serving some frog legs to me last night because now what? I know for sure that I will never eat a frog leg in my lifetime. I'll tell you that. Question, where the hell does Stella get those from? Oh, he got them at oh, the he, you know, he he goes Festival out. Foods. He said they were four bucks a pound or cheap. Whatever. Wow. That's, the that's, jersey they gave Mr. Irrelevant makes makes them play harder. 256. Yeah. Damon B would like to have seen at least one offensive lineman. Okay. I told that's you cool. that's why. Me they too. Don't. No, that, that's what I'm saying. They're they're upset they didn't get who they like when we but, wanted. Yeah, you wanted Metcalf. Yeah. I wanted AJ Brown. But you guys did also say they could get a free agent too. 
Hey, no, yeah. no, no. They wanted an offensive lineman at 13. You don't get that, Joe. These think people so? think Bach should have been replaced because no. they hate him because he blew out his knee and he tried his hardest to get back and he guzzles beer and he was Roger's <laughs> buddy and, and he they want him out. Beer. They want, I know <laughs> Packer fans better than anybody. Those are all the reasons why they want him out. Yes. Because he's so does right. it. Rocky, I, I hate to say I agree with 98 Yeah, that's why they want him out, because he's Roger's yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, did you notice the Jets, how many offensive linemen they gave him? Oh, yeah. Man, three. Yeah, for Rodgers. That's smart. Yeah. No that wide probably, receivers. They already, well, they were wide receivers. They're loaded. They have one and of the best. Def- they grab defense and offensive line. Yeah, their uh, wide receiver core is one of the best. How, both are good. How did the frog them. legs become such a huge topic? No, everybody's like, because the way, the way you were, you're like, <laughs> that thing was gross. Anyways, you're eight, like, I can see the black line. Eight, 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 eight maybe and nine the ten, wins. Uh, and then, the, the, oh, oh it tastes like chicken. <laughs> no. It does not what taste it like, like a swamp. We're going to talk about frog legs all night. Now. It was rubber. <laughs> See, Rocky can't talk about other stuff. I want to talk about his football. Brain, his football, brain football, goes... Football, football, football. <laughs> some, some people want to talk about other things than just... How to fry up frog legs? Stella explained it last night. <laughs> wow, look, at this, Mark, look, at this. look how much better. Wow. See, now I slide that much over. Better. Nobody's commenting on my Jordan Love jersey. How about my uh, my DHPF hat? Right. Joey says he doesn't like the I don't yellow. I like the yellow. I do. You would look. Better. I like everything. I'm happy. I don't care. Laura Turner B, but not at 13 for the win. Okay, that's why I didn't get an A. Interesting. Yeah, I get it. I I thought it was a great pick. But that's back to Stella feels that we a uh, top 15 pick is a bust. If they're not an impact player in the first, he doesn't care if they're great in the second or third round. I do. That's how he feels. I do. Rip. If there was ever you year. Know what? He's not the only one that feels that way. Stella feels you pick a top 15 guy, he better be an ass kicker. I agree. And he doesn't care if they. De- now look at Rashad Gary's great now, right? ACL tear. So is he going to be great anymore? We don't know. Now, here, here's something I've told you before. The top tier wide receivers in every draft, these guys have been found sophomore year high school. That's the cream of the crop. There's only a, there's only about five or six of them every year that are cream like who's the guy from uh, Dallas Rock? Uh, I'm answering an important. Messy. Who's the guy from Dallas? For what position? <laughs> Wide receiver. They're top. Uh, oh, Lamb. Uh, CeeDee Lamb. Lamb. Rocks Hanson. Dude, CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb. They knew, they knew about CeeDee Lamb in eighth grade. They, they knew this kid was going to be there a There's no doubt. Oh, you can get. If you're in the top 13, 14 picks, considering some guys are going to grab offensive linemen, some guys are going to get quarterback, you can get those real top tier Wide receivers, like, guaranteed this is going to be a stud. Like C.D. Lamb. Right. C.D. Lamb. Could you imagine C.D. Lamb with with Adams? Could you imagine C.D. Lamb with... Don't C. even C. get Lamb? Rocky started. He's always yes. wanted a wide yes. receiver okay. with Adams. We got him now, okay? So or now, even with... <laughs> you, you had why? We got him. That's my whole guys, point. That's why it's an A. We got it, yeah. okay? You, you have all these guys with, with Watson now. I mean, you get... Next year is what they have to do. They have to go after first pick, left rock. tackle. No, left tackle. you have to have the best of the best catching the ball. If you're going to, you, as I've always been a wide receiver right. first pick guy. John Scott gives it 11, 11 wins. All right. Jerry Cassietta gives it nine wins. Have a good evening, Wendy. Nine Solid wins. B. Get you in the playoffs. Solid B. Draft class, Deb West. Even though they helped the offense, the defense didn't do us my any favors. So if the defense improves, I'll say a nine. Very good, Deb West. I'm, I'm I that could be right on. Deep, deep, deep. Nine wins, eight losses. Is that what we had last year? 
Eight wins. So so she's saying if the defense basically stops the run, because the defense was damn good the last six, seven games. I don't know anybody. And, I, I saw tons of improvement. Andrew Miller gives it ten wins for next year. Players can stay if the players can stay healthy. Always. A good, that's why I don't like predicting. What happened? Because if, if you get if you have health issues, I'm the only one that was saying ten wins a month ago. Now everybody's saying it. Everybody was saying five wins, three wins, six wins. Rocky is well, the sole reason Why that every Packer fan. Most importantly, Vegas was saying four or five wins. Six wins was Vegas. It's up to seven and a half. I wonder if it's up to eight now. Or eight and a half. Solid hey, B. Rocky. See? Solid B, seven, eight wins. That's what most people yeah, think. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm at ten. Bob Foster. Rock, what happened against Detroit? In the last I game. don't want to talk about it. What happened? Joey and Stella were too optimistic. He's got a reason. They were talking why about the Super Bowl before the show. Go ahead. My, quite, my, my reason why I why had we that is bring up we last couldn't year. stop the run. Right. But the, he picked up three right. defense alignments. So wow. yeah, well that's right where he's uh, where Hercules and Brooks comes in. Right. So, exactly, and, and, and one Lucas. defensive tackle, Lucas too. Yeah. Don't forget, Gary's kind of a blows by everybody. He's a risk edge. The yeah. defense, the, the we stopped to run better after he was gone, but we You're didn't right. get the pass You're right. rush. You're right. He he has to the, stand up. These guys <laughs> aren't like that. They're more like you were talking. They're they're strong. They hold their ground. Yeah. And yeah. don't forget why it's better too. And. The number one pick last year, defensive lineman with Walker. What I always like about defensive linemen, guys that can play on their side of the ball, and if you can get off the ball like this Brooks does, if you can get off the ball faster than... And get off the blockers. Get into the backfield. You disrupt everything. I think they're going to play him at nose. He looks like like B.J. Raji a little bit. What else, Joe? A lot of them. John James, they eight wins. Coming. Andrew, Mike Muirhead. Well, some people will hang on. I always think it's going to stop. Anyone know what happened to Andrew Carter, defensive end, outside linebacker from Army? Is Muirhead your writer? Mike's always too. No, I don't know what happened. No, that, he, did he get drafted? He did get drafted. Yeah, Maybe. We, we did ahead. not address inside linebacker, but anyway, we talked about that. John James gave it a B because we passed on better wide receivers that fit Exactly what we needed. I Ooh. agree. I agree. Good. That would be the only reason I didn't give it an A+. Plus. Yeah. John Jones. I like the love. Are I you, like, jo- are you I, dropping down? No, yeah, I, I love that John. hat. Love to have one. <laughs> Becky, the golden rod hat is a woman's hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go up to here in order, Watt. In order, we're hitting everybody. No, see? I see, no I'm just saying. <laughs> Becky says I'm wearing a... Uh, Chick's hat? Uh, oh, well, we could have got to that. We could have got to that. But you're right. All right, all right, let's keep moving. Come on, Matthew. You missed a good comment. Go on. Which one? Up. Oh, right nice here. Rock. We have to give Love a try. If you look back at this draft, he was considered a good quarterback with weapons. We have to give him support. That's right. true. He Main did, Richards, I like that. He Main. gained help. He gained yes. help in his game. Absolutely. Team. All DHPF memes are posted. Complete draft list waiting for a caption to post. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, I wanted an offensive lineman to have an actual long-term starter at right tackle. Uh, that's what we took Ryan. I, I, could, I, I shouldn't answer that. I'm not qualified on that. I could be Jen, wrong. Jenkins could play right tackle all day. Uh, Yash is going to play right tackle. But, but I'm saying Jenkins is a better tackle than he is a guard. But that does give the draft a B. I get a B plus because we did not address a badass right tackle. They're cool, but yeah. how many tackles? All the best. See, I don't get this. Maybe you can. All the tackles are left tackles, the badass tackles, and left tackles don't want to play right tackle because they make more money at left tackle. So and, nobody's got a great right. And tackle where do you like to run the ball? Right. Yeah. So why is that? Why were you a left tackle or right? right. right. See the ball. You did. Yeah, you're saying they like the to say run Joe's. Run. We ran the ball, nine, Jarvis Brown, we ran Randy the ball 99.9% of the time. Exactly. Our quarterback could only throw the ball five yards. Deb, Deb West, Marvin Harrison Jr. Next year. That's what Watt was talking about. We ain't going to get him next year. Sorry. We're going to be too good. But actually, you know what? If we go eight, nine wins again, 
We do end up with a wide receiver like that. If one of these guys don't work yeah. out, I get it. Got to keep on uh, filling it up. Rolling down to the last few questions here. Good question. B, with this nice draft cl class, with tomorrow picking up unsigned free agents. That's actually... I don't know nothing about How that. How many you think make the team of undrafted always have three or four of them? I know. They do do that. I, the, Rock just said... We don't know if he don't know about that. All right, sure let's, let's do this real quick. All right, come on. I want to check our to... schedule. Eight or nine wins. At I'm the dying point. to do this. Does Lucas make the team? Yes. yes. Does Musgrave make the team? Yes. yes. Does Reed make the team? Yes. Does Kraft make the team? Yes. Maybe. Does Colby? Maybe. <laughs> Does Colby Wood in the first defensive line? Uh, Auburn. Yes. yes. Does he make the team? <laughs> Does the backup quarterback make the team? Of course. Clifford. Does the does the Devont, the second coming of Devontae Adams make the team? Virginia. Yeah, Wick, six right. six, big dude. Yeah. You can watch his highlights. Yeah. How about your boy Kyle Brooks? Does 100%. he make the team? He'll be, he'll be the best, the strongest guy in the weight room on the team. Right. Does the kicker Brooks? make the team? Yeah. Does the kicker animal. make the team? No. Maybe. That's not a given. Does the cornerback on special teams make the team? Yes. Absolutely. Does Nichols, the running back, make the oh, team? Yeah. Absolutely. And well, I'll tell you what. If all these guys make the team, we're going to have a young football team. We are. That's what this is about. That's what it's all about. You're right, Rock. So how many free agents are going to make the team? None. <laughs> Maybe one. Would have liked to see Cody... I don't know who Cody Mouch is from North Dakota, North Dakota State University in Green Bay. Ended up going with to Tampa. We traded the 42nd pick, small school. But the guy could play anywhere on the O-line. Watched him play a lot. Cody Mouch ended up going to Tampa. Oh, he's talking about the offensive line. We were talking about if there was alignment available in the first round. I think second I round, second round at 42. I'm, I like our, oh, instead of taking the tight end. But the tight end can block. He can play guard. The tight end can play guard, by the way. We're trying to wrap this thing Crap. up, you guys. So We're never going to wrap it up. They must have had a lot of faith in our offensive line and safeties. Mike Muirhead, since they only grabbed one safety in round I agree. seven. I agree. Could Van Ness transition to inside linebacker Thomas Mills? No. Boy, I don't think so. No. He's too big. No, no way. Too big. T.J. Watt couldn't either. <coughs> they're edge. So you can't, six foot five? Huh? No, they're edge. They can't cover tight ends and stuff yeah. like that. Running now, he is the kind of guy that could be like a Reggie White, where you could put him inside. Yeah, right. Yeah. All three of those guys. Well, once are. he gets, you know, once he gets a little bigger, you know, he has to put on a few pounds. This is an interesting point because this was brought up. A lot over the last year because they would flex these games. Is Mark Nelson? He said on the plus side, games will be more at noon. You know why on not Sunday? A plus? Now since Rogers is gone, there's a lot of people in Green Bay who love a noon game. Right, that's what I don't like. They like having their beer at eight, nine in the morning, eleven o'clock. They're walking it. in the stadium. Guess why I hate it. Three thirty, they're home. Hey, guess they're why on their way it. home. Come on, Joe. Guess why we hate it. Because the tickets are going to be more expensive. We don't have season tickets. I love it that they play late and nobody, all those tickets are available. Hey, for Rod. all those fans who don't have season tickets. I'm going to try to say this in the most, <laughs> I'm going to say this in the most humble way. I don't have a problem getting in the stadium and neither do you. Oh, well, wait, wait till you see if the Packers start out on a winning streak and all their games. Well, let's are talk a little bit about that. Do you think more fans are going to show up to see if the Packers are going to be great or are they going to bail yes. on the team? If we go one and three to start the oh, season, yeah. or... yeah, that's two different questions. It is two different questions. Yeah. It is two different questions. Like but I'm curious because no, <laughs> the, people are getting their season tickets faster than ever right now. That's a sign. Everybody wants. Uh, everybody wants to see what's going to happen without a great a without a Rod or Brett Favre. Well. Yeah. You know what? That reminds me. This is something I wanted to talk about. So there is going to be a draw. Well, I wanted to talk about this. You just brought it to my attention. That's why I like talking. Is This draft brought the A-Rod fans who were really pissed off about him leaving a little bit closer now to Jordan Love and the Packers again. Once we realized, because I am a Rodgers fan. Me too. Once we realized it was over. 
It was so over. You're over. Now you might as well say Jordan Love and Rogers wanted out. He wanted to retire, yeah. or well, he wanted. Can to you judge. blame him? No. The way he was treated. Right. No, I can't. Although the way, the way think about this, in 2019. I don't want to bring this back up, but 2019. What did Rogers say to the to the to the brass? I want to be more involved. I want to help out yeah, on this really important do it decision. Until he got what did they promise him? They Why said, receivers. we said, Higgins, we've been Aaron Rodgers, times. <laughs> we're going to go out there and get you weapons. We're going to really push for this a Super draft Bowl. like this. We're, we're, and all of a sudden, the draft comes along. Oh, my God. They traded up. To get a quarterback. And they right. grab a quarterback. All right, all right, all right. We've been over that. that that's when... Aaron well, Rodgers, and that's when Devontae Adams both said, right. really, you know what, they're not trying to win. Okay, but here's what I'm trying to say. That just got buried. Yeah. Okay, it's gone. My nano always said, you can never go back. And I should listen to him and yeah, don't it's break it up. You can never go back. Good night, fellas. We have to finish cut I have to finish cutting the grass, cleaning the pool. Take care. <laughs> night was fun. I'll bet I'll bet resigning Adrian Amos is in the cards. For Gutekunst, that could be. Hey, look who we got. Yep, rebuilding a great team. We have a we have this season. Tanya Smith, final ones. Love the yellow hat. How do I get one? Wow, two people want yeah, your hat. Wow. I don't love you. You guys have this a good night, Jerry Casiata. Have a good evening. Like you said, it's a woman's hat. I don't know. One win or Super Bowl win, always a Packer fan. Jerry Cassiata. I like that, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my yeah. kind of guy, right? Jerry there. gets Jerry gets a patch. Yeah. What did he say? One win or a Super Bowl. I know. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. Here. He's always a Packer. Can I wear that hat real quick or no? Because yeah. I think it looks better with white. Hold uh, on, Rock. Ben Ben oh, See see what? That does look good on you, Rock. Yeah, you gotta wear it with white. Bob Foster. Ben. Have your wife dress you. What you're wearing looks better with green. <laughs> hey, right. Forget about it. <laughs> ben, ben Foster. <laughs> Sorry. And it just, it just says what it is. You done? Uh, no. All right. Ben Foster. That was good, Rob. Ben Foster. Been through the thick and thin of the 70s and until now. Always watch or go later. What? Guys. I just wrote it a little bit odd, but I get, I get the point. In other words, you went this, you went. He's been through this the shit. Hey, oh, Ron, uh, let me ask a question to the no. Our fans. I want to finish. Questions. Oh, this is the last question. Promise for <laughs> fans. Come up with the best song that has love in the title, and we're gonna do a DHPF Jordan Love kick off the season. So it could be the Beatles, Love, Love Me Do, could be... Um, well, that's such a... Next ride. time. Right? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> that's that's Whitney that's Houston. I'm David, I got to go on. Wow, we got to wrap this up. It, Damon Tap Travis. <laughs> Packer Nation is about to burn. I would have agreed with me. Sorry, I, they just won't stop talking. Packer Nation is about to find out how many bandwagon fans we had. Been spoiled for the past 30 years and only have two different quarterbacks. Who are both Hall of Fame. I'm excited for the new beginning, regardless how it turns out. Thank you, Damon. That's a great point. Mike Muirhead, you want to grade a draft class? Now you can grade 2019. Disagree. Three years ago Disagree. gives you your time to look at. I agree with you. No, that. that's wrong. I don't Who buy cares? It. You, I you, like you'll it. see. Oh, so Mike Beerhead, what did you grade last year's eight starters? You you didn't grade that as a good draft class? What does that mean? Eight rookies started last year. We could have thirteen. He said two thousand nineteen. Rock. Well, oh. think about this, Rock. He said two thousand. Hey, yeah, he means we should be grading two thousand nineteen. Please have all me. those guys make the team and start. What was our record, and did we make the playoffs? Well, they're all rookies. So what? Did we make the playoffs? They're, it was a goal. You're going to tell me Walker wasn't a great pick? You're going to tell me Watson wasn't a great pick? You're going to tell me I think Dobbs over, wasn't a great I pick? I think overall, gonna... the draft Tom was... <laughs> Sing your love why song. Was, why, 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 okay, why, so you would rather had nobody make the team than it would have no, been I'm a good saying, pick. Why was Watson great? Yeah, because no, he's, he's great. No, it helps He was me. the third best. Who is the most accurate 
quarterback of all time. Well, that's a different debate. The guy had a great year. He was the third best wide receiver. Yeah, Rodgers had something to do with it. But he showed all kinds of talent. So you're not, he, he, you're telling me that you don't I like I don't get that comment. I can, maybe it's because I view players. I can tell right away. Like when I watch Aaron Rodgers and go back and YouTube Aaron Rodgers' first game in preseason, I went crazy. I could tell right there. I actually right. kind of remember that. It was like so. Th I don't buy that. But anyway, go ahead. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We had Tommy Watt join us. My brother Rocky Stella, we love you, dude. Thanks for everyone that tuned in. It was last minute, but it was great. Diehard Packer fan, DHBF, when football becomes life. Peace. Great draft. Love it. That was Go Pack. A plus. I'm up.